In the last episode, I took you around Isakul Lake and Altin Arashan. Let's head further and see what else we can explore. This place has almost like a mythical existence, even for people who live here in Kyrgyzstan. If you have not seen my Kyrgyzstan travel guide, I would definitely recommend you check that before continuing with this video because there's tons of information there that's really, really important and you should know that before you actually start planning your visit to this country. So check that out and let me continue with the video. It's another beautiful day around Lake Issacol and I am at Jetia Guz or the Seven Bulls this time. It's an amazing place. Again, the landscape changes so frequently and so beautifully in Kyrgyzstan. It's amazing. This place is about 40 minutes drive from Karakol and it's quite easy to get here. The road isn't the best as usual, but it's quite easy to get here. It's, it's fairly easy. There are directions so you won't have any problem. There's no public transport that gets you here from Karakol. Gonna spend some time here. Um, there's actually a little village. As usual, there's a beautiful river flowing by. There are hot springs if you want to enjoy those, spend more time here. Um, but I'm gonna spend a little bit time here and then we move on to a waterfall and then to my really, really favorite place that I really, really want to see, Skaska Canyon. I'm at Skaska Canyon and this is as incredible as I'd imagined. I saw some photos and I fell in love with this place and I wanted to visit. I mean, that was literally the first spot I wanted to see in Kyrgyzstan and I'm here now and I'm super excited. I mean, it's really bizarre. I went to Kenya last year and I went to a place called Vatamu. If you haven't checked the video, do it. There's a place called Hell's Kitchen and it's a canyon exactly like this the same rugged red rocks all around you. This looks more like Mars than Earth, except for that beautiful Isakul Lake you see all the way over there. It's gorgeous. I'm in love with this place. I love Kyrgyzstan. This is incredible. If you come here, there's a place called the Great Wall of China, which is right behind me. And it runs actually like a wall. So don't miss that place. It's actually quite incredible. And if you use your focus and imagination, according to my guide, you can see some animal shapes. I've been a bit unlucky so far. I'm going to spend some time here and then we get moving to Kajise, which is where I will be spending the next two days. I'm heading to Sanko Lake and this place has almost like a mythical existence even for people who live here in Kyrgyzstan. So if you're coming from Bishkek, it's gonna take you about six to seven hours. Or if you're coming from Isikul Lake like I am, it will take about five hours still. But the landscape is amazing. We left in the morning and it's just rugged mountains in all directions until we got to this point and we we're pretty close now. Um, a little bit of practical information. So the road is not all made up. Some of it is pretty good, but when you turn from the main road, it is all sort of like a gravel road and you need to come prepared for Songkol. You need to bring some cash with you because there's literally no cash machines or anything else here. There's no internet reception, there's no phone reception. Bring some towels with you if you like that and you can only stay in a year there. And that's like a must do if you're coming to Kyrgyzstan. Yaks, yaks, and tons of them. I've never seen one so close before. This one, he's looking at me. Oh, and he's not looking at me now.
I'm here, this is Sonko Lake. The Sonko means the lost lake. And I think it means the lost lake before it's called. Look at this beautiful lake. It's gorgeous with nothing for miles and miles around. It's just stunning. So I'm going to enjoy my sunset here and then go get some dinner and just sleep in nature. I'm really looking forward to that as well. Oh, so beautiful. This is where we're gonna be staying and I already made a new friend. So cute. Come here. Come, come. He was being a lot more brave before but he's being a bit shy now. Let's go see the yurt now and I'll tell you a few things about that as well. This is going to be home for tonight. My very own yurt. This is a traditional heater and it is amazing when it gets cold, which it does. Let's talk about yurts. Now, number one, how do you book them? Well, there's quite a few that are available on Booking, that are available on Airbnb, but honestly, you can just go up and there's a lot of camps and there are a lot of places and you can just negotiate a price and you can just stay. So it's, it's not something that you need to definitely book in advance, which I think would be a good idea if you're coming during the high season. Low season, like it is now, it's perfectly fine. I am sort of on my own. You know how important the yurts are to Kyrgyz people? This is the ceiling of a yurt and it actually features right in the middle of the Kyrgyz flag. So that thing in the middle with like two crosses, that is the ceiling of the yurt. That's how important it is. Come. My new buddy is a little less shy now. Hello. Hello. Who is that? If you're going to stay in a yurt, lower your expectations. This is not a hotel room. You can't expect fully functional toilets, you can't expect showers, you can't expect luxury here. Even if the ones that are marketed as luxury, it's still a tent out in the open. So please come with the right expectations. It's actually quite fun. I would recommend bringing some warm clothes for sure because it does get quite cold, um, especially in the night. And I would also recommend bringing some slippers and some towels. If you do that, honestly, you'd have a pretty good stay. Welcome to my yurt. Good morning! This is as bedhead as it gets for me, but I had a wonderful night's sleep and it was amazing. It was so calm and literally no noise, uh, but it did get very cold. So do bring some thermals with you. 
if you live in UK, Uniqlo is the best one. It's amazing. I also forgot to tell you to bring some chargers or some battery packs with you because there's very limited electricity here. The only thing they get is from the solar panels and it's usually not enough to charge everything. So bring something with you. I'm gonna go get some breakfast and just go around the lake and enjoy this beautiful place. So another little fun story. Um, yesterday we tried to do the horse riding, but one of the guys, he was feeling kind of adventurous. So he went racing, fell off the horse and um, yeah, his skull almost opened up right in front of us so it was a bit scary so i'm like not super enthusiastic about horse riding right now but um, i've been told that it's like a freak accident and i'm not planning on going anywhere near the speed he was going so i think we should be fine let's see what happens especially nice sharing the breakfast with rex say hello rex say good morning good morning he had to be chained at night. Because look at that face. Oh. This is our yurt camp. And that is a beauty standing right next to the lake. A horse, a horse, my kingdom for a horse. Any one of these would do. But be careful, don't try to get too close to them because a single kick can be pretty lethal. So as soon as they're turning their back towards you, run. <laughs> They like it if you scratch their head. Adorable. Kyrgyzstan is the land of horses. I have never seen so many horses in one place. It's like, there has to be hundreds of thousands of them and everywhere you go, you will see a horse. Especially if you come to Songkhol. They're just so beautiful. So gorgeous to look at and they're so majestic. <laughs> so going for horse riding and this is my guide. He's probably quarter my age, but he's so good with horses. Say hello Adil. Hello. We're gonna go to the lake and come back because yeah, I'm still a bit scared of the horses but they're really beautiful and they're really tame. I hope you guys enjoyed Kyrgyzstan with me. I will see you guys in the next country. In the meanwhile, do check out my other videos from Kyrgyzstan, especially if you're planning a visit. This is Brown Boy Travels and let me know what you think of the video. Do hit the like button and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for your own countries so I can visit, do let me know as well. You can also check me on Instagram and TikTok. I will see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.